Hey everybody, how's it going? So listen, guys, I'm in North Carolina, right? And uh, I'm leaving uh, Winston-Salem area and I'm headed towards Charlotte to go to the airport. And uh, I come across this sign out on the highway and it says something about, about the lodge, uh, factory store or something like that. So I'm like, what? I didn't get a good look at it. So I pulled over at the next exit and uh, and I looked it up and it's right here. It's almost in Charlotte. It's the Lodge factory store. So it's all this cast iron stuff. And I don't know if you can see some of this behind me, but uh, let's go in. I actually, I actually already went in and talked to the manager and uh, she's going to let me bring you guys in. It's kind of weird to go into a small store and just film like this, but I don't know if any of you guys cast iron cook or where they got so much stuff in here. So much stuff. So anyway, let's go in there. I'm going to show you guys around and uh, they got some really cool stuff and I can actually get you uh, a way to order from this store directly. The manager in there is so very nice. Such a nice lady. And uh, I've already got some stuff picked out. But anyway, let's go in there. I'll talk to you about you. line of cast iron uh, this stuff's expensive very very expensive 299 dollars for that uh for this you know it's cast iron but it's got the whatever the enamel or whatever on it the thing is from what i've been told today is this enamel everybody sends their enamel out to china to get uh to get their you know enamel in their pots or whatever but they do theirs here in the United States. And of course, so so pretty, but very, very, very expensive. Uh, but oh my gosh, guys, so much stuff. I mean, so, so much stuff. Now, this little holder right here, I'm buying a couple of these for our cast iron stuff. You know, our cast iron just sits in the in the oven most of the time. But this little rack right here, and she's done showed me a couple of different ways that you can do that rack to uh, to hold your cast iron. So I'm for sure getting that rack. I'm actually going to get a couple of them uh, for all of our cast iron stuff at home. I don't even know where to start in here, guys. I really don't. I mean, let's. So I want to show you something else that's really cool. I've, they've got stuff. They've got cast iron stuff in here I've never even seen before. Well, that's pretty cool. That chef's collection. That'd be pretty neat. Um, Cast iron pizza pan. I've never seen one of these. Just, I've seen the, the bricks or whatever or whatever that other material is, but square pans, round pans, pizza pans. Ah, there is a glass lid for that huge skillet that I've got at home. I, I'm just, I'm overwhelmed right now. I'm like totally overwhelmed. That is not. Oh my gosh, that could be, what? Is that supposed to be a skillet or is that? No, it's got a groove on it. That is actually a lid. Or it could be another skillet. How cool is that? They've got uh, these deals right here. You know, we've got the things for silicone handle. These are for, you know, the other end. Well, the, those are not separated, but for this end here, in case you need to pick it up. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to take that down. I know that will fit. Yeah, that's for 15. 
inch, and that's the 15 inch. Oh my goodness, what is this? Cast iron scrubbing pad. Huh. Well, that's pretty neat. Guys, I will say something to y'all, and I'm probably gonna make a lot of y'all mad, but <clears throat> I asked the lady in here about using using like the stainless steel spatulas and stuff inside of your cast iron. And she said, it's iron. It's much more resistant than anything else you'll use. And using, you know, unless you're just romping on it with metal, you're not gonna hurt that cast iron because the cast iron is a lot harder than the stainless that you'd be using in a in a spatula or something. So she said, you will never, ever, ever hurt that cast iron. Not in a thousand years. Speaking of which, this is metal over that sponge for when you got to scrub and get these things clean. That's from the manufacturer, guys. It's not something Daniel Morrow made up. Uh, but here's some good. Boy, I don't know. This, these, they got just a little bit of everything in here. Okay, let's just kind of keep going and looking. I don't know what that is. I need her over here with me, but she did not want to get on camera. Oh, it's an egg green. You put that in the bottom of your. Oh my goodness gracious! Really? Put that down in your pan crack your eggs in there oh how cool is that well I think I can't set my camera but I think you can flip that over and then flip your egg over too oh my gosh that's a must that's a must have those are not $69 I hope no that's a walk oh a walk that would be great for the I do my stir fries. That'd be awesome. Oh, Lou's gonna kill me. I'm gonna spend the thing is I can't spend money in here today because I gotta get on a plane. I can't take all this stuff with me on a plane. But when Lou sees my order, oh she's probably gonna kill me. And we can do it. Buffalo. United States of America. Five cents. Oh, that's like a buffalo nickel or whatever that was called. Ain't that cool? Uh, what is this for? That goes on your pot. Oh, Lordy, to hold your spoon. Check that out. You gotta have one of those. You got to. Look at that. <laughs> Boy, could you imagine making some cornbread or some biscuits or something in that thing and having that face on the bottom of it? That'd be pretty cool. That would actually be pretty awesome. Man, they've got such cool stuff in here. I'm hoping y'all are getting a little bit of interest out of this place like I am. The main thing I wanted to show you, well, not the main thing, I found something over here. Look at all these different lodge cornbread mixes. Skillet cornbread, true southern, hot jalapeno, sweet spot, and sweet as honey. I'm definitely going to try some of those. I think that would be awesome. They've also got this sober dough. Brewbread? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I got all kinds of uh, apple fritter bread, the classic, cheesy garlic. Oh, that's pretty neat. Uh, here's some hush puppy mix, regular hush puppy mix. Cooking directions on the back. I, I'm a, I mean, this is all pancake mix, skillet cornbread muffin mix, regular white cornmeal. Ah, they do have something in here from Texas. Texas chili, guys, of course. Everybody wants to do something like Texas. 
we're not, look at all the flat stuff. I mean, this is just, okay. Now this is what I want to show you here. Y'all see all this stuff back here on this back? All of this, all of that over there. That's called seconds. So basically, all of this is seconds, factory seconds, okay? So you can read this real quick. A second is a product with a cosmetic blemish such as a small pit, scratch, or uneven seasoning. Uh, while these major imperfections do not affect cooking performance, blah, blah, blah. Uh, when the blemishes are small enough, we opt not to recycle and melt them down. I'm just paraphrasing here. But instead sell them to you exclusively at our factory stores for a great low price. The thing is, guys, there's four factory stores in the United States. Three of them are in Tennessee. One of them here in North Carolina. Um, so, but, look at this. That lid, I don't know what that lid costs, probably at least twice that over there with the with the other stuff. This pot, $27. I mean this lid, there's there's nothing there's nothing wrong with this lid. I mean there's, there's nothing wrong with I mean it may have a little blemish in their eyes, but uh, let's let's these are all seconds right here. Let's pick up here, this big skillet right here. Uh, big skillet is 60 bucks even for a second. It'd be over 100, I guess, if it wasn't a second. I don't see anything wrong with it here. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with it. Somebody at the factory obviously did. But, I mean, this is crazy. And crazy cheap for cast iron, uh, especially a name brand like Lodge. Super, super cheap because there's a little blemish with it. I think that's just the craziest thing ever. These are all seconds. So, oh, let me show y'all real quick. Oh, let me show y'all real quick. This is something else on the order form. I'm getting, well, I'm getting that, that, that whatever that pot back there that big pot i'm getting this big strainer for my fish and everything so that's going to be awesome i didn't know even lock made these and i've also got one of these here on order uh, so that in my other skillets i can cook fish my other big skillets and just or fries or whatever and just dip them out with this uh with this kind of a strainer I guess you use this trainer for a lot of different things, actually, not just fish, but um, anyway, so much really cool stuff in here. Uh, stuff to take care of your lodge stuff with. Uh, cooking spray, season, seasoning spray for the lodge. Yellowstone stuff. Wow. So cool. Oh my gosh, they got leather handles. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that leather handle for oh my gosh, that's cool. <coughs> well, Daniel Morrow Outdoors may have to start doing some outdoor outdoor cooking guys under over an open fire look at all the stuff they got here this is really cool too i've seen this little melting pot you put butter or whatever in there melt it down you got your little little brush there such cool stuff in here all the different handles they got for taking the lids off and moving pots around this little grill right here is cool we kind of got one similar to that at home uh 
a little smaller too. Uh, that's pretty neat. I don't even know how to use this stuff here. This is all for outdoor uh, fire stuff. Oh, there it is, okay. That's pretty cool. Here's the one we need for outside. Put some charcoal on top. Make some stuff. I got a kids camp, uh, kids camp recipes for kids. I should probably start with that. <laughs> the Lodge Book of Dutch Oven Cooking. That right there is probably what I need. Oh yeah, well we could make some good stuff. I just think it's so neat. All this stuff. I had no idea they had this much stuff. It's crazy. And here's all their seasonings, Lodge seasonings. Okay, guys, I think I've kind of been through the store. Oh, they've even got gloves. Cast iron handling gloves. Or these are like welding gloves here. And these are more like kitchen mitts or whatever you call them, oven mitts. Awesome. Okay. It's fire starter. Huh. I am so impressed with this store. Ah, definitely gonna need, definitely gonna need one of these. I don't know if y'all can tell what this is. Well, it's the thing that you hang over the fire and hang your pots on it. See, they don't have one opened up right here. I wish they did. All right, yep. We're going to start making some cool outdoor dishes. I love the rack, though. The rack is just... Leanne, I think, is going to be impressed with the rack. Get our stuff all out of the oven. Oh, there's another deal that you can hang over the fire there. Oh, that's heavy duty. Hang out over your fire, set your stuff on it. Okay. Guys, carbon steel seasoned carbon steel stuff. These are all like little thin things right here. I bet those suckers get hot and cook quick. Handle on that thing. Boy, whip you up a couple eggs in that thing real quick. Got us all up. A little holder that would be that's neat right there. Oh, you cook a steak on that thing. Wow. I'm just so impressed. I know, guys, I'm a little weird. We got a bunch of those little thin skillets. I don't know what you cook on that, but I can find something to throw on there. Anyway, I'm sorry I can't introduce y'all to the owner. That would be awesome if I could. They got so much of this stuff with pictures on the bottom. She told me she wasn't allowed to be on camera, so anyway. So this seven quart Dutch oven, $79, right? The second, let me just this is called 80 bucks. And then the second, well, it's just as good as quality. You'd spend 27 and 15, so call it, call it 40, let's call it 45 versus 80. So almost half price to get a second. It's crazy. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the lodge store. 
I will go ahead and say right now, this is the coolest store I've ever been in. I could also spend an insane amount of money in this store, so it's probably best that I go home and order instead of, uh, it's a good thing that I got a plane to catch and I can't carry this stuff with me. Maybe I'll get a little sense in my head before I get home and call her back up and order something. So y'all pray that I get a little sense or I'll spend way too much money in here. Anyway. Okay, guys, here we go. If you want something from this store that I've just shown you, this is the phone number. 980-949-6047. Okay, who do we ask for? Anybody in particular? Uh, Kalanda. Kalanda. Ask for Kalanda. Or Michael. Or Michael. They're the ones that don't want to be on camera, but they have got so much cool stuff in here, and she will help you out. She's awesome. Okay, guys, and I'm being serious about this, and I will do it. If she's for real, I will do it. But I was just talking to the manager, uh, whatever, I can't remember her name right away, but I was just talking to the manager, and she's having this deal here in uh, October, and it's going to be called Lodge Fest or something like that here at, here at her store. She's gonna have some different people come in and do some, they had a kitchen set up in there, like inside their store, it's pretty cool. She's gonna have some chefs come in, do some cooking. Of course, she's gonna have her green egg people out here and, and doing some other stuff. And I was joking around with her and I was like, hey, you need to let me come cook some biscuits, you know? And she, <laughs> she says, I don't know. She says, if you can get yourself here, I will be more than happy to let you come in, spend an hour or two cooking, uh, you know, of course giving taste test to everybody or whatever and then uh you know you can spend some time making videos or or whatever you want to do to kind of help promote your channel so i'm gonna be talking to her i hope she's serious but you can't ever you, come on you can't ever tell it's the first time i ever met the lady she's a very nice lady but uh i am gonna call her on uh i think i'm gonna call her on friday and and uh, for sure get my order placed for all the stuff that i've seen there that i want and then we'll see if she brings it up again and see if she's serious. And uh, eh, you know what? Even if she wasn't, she pumped my head up for a little bit, which was pretty cool. But anyway, we'll see what happens. But if it does happen, if it does happen, and Cooking with Dan Lou gets to come to North Carolina and cook at Lodge Fest at the Lodge Factory store, that's gonna be cool. Let's not hold our breath. See you guys.